This is the new Rubik's Speed, and there's a lot to talk about. What features does it have? How does it feel? Is it good? Also, I think that speed cubing in general is going to benefit a lot from this. So, I'll just go out and say it. This is a very respectable cube. It has several new features including magnets between the edge and corner pieces, a dual adjustment system that I'll explain soon, a unique feel, and most obviously, it's stickless. Magnets in speed cubes help align each layer while you turn quickly, as well as overall holding the cube together nice and sturdy. And the magnets in the new Rubik Speed are a pretty average strength, not too weak and not too strong, but the difference it makes is substantial. I can turn really quickly on this cube, nearly at my full speed and very consistently. The cube also has a dual adjustment system, which means you can adjust the tension of the cube and the spring compression of the cube. The tension of a cube affects the maximum amount that it can be sort of pulled apart, and the spring compression of the cube is the amount that the cube flexes within that distance. On the Rubik's Speed, the tension can be adjusted using a screw, and the main functional difference that it will make on the cube is the corner cutting and how easy it is to pop. You can also adjust the spring compression of the cube by grabbing onto the little blue bit and rotating clockwise. There are four settings going up in strength until you spin it around back to the lower setting again. And adjusting the spring compression will affect the speed of the cube and the overall sturdiness in your hands. So it's great that now you have the opportunity of customizing the cube to your preferences. For me personally, the tension out of the box is pretty perfect and I like the spring compression set to three. The cube feels sort of papery, but not in a bad way, and it's fast and dry out of the box. If you want, you can add lubricant to fine tune it to exactly the feeling you like. I opted for just a few drops of lubricant so it retains some of that fast papery feeling that I like. Also, the cube has a new stickless look, which is really cool to see. The big cubes have traditionally all had that sort of stickered or tiled look, but the new stickless look on the Rubik's Speed makes it much easier to see where pieces are when turning quickly, which is a nice change to help you solve faster. So yes, the cube is very good. But most importantly, I think this cube is going to be great for the speed cubing community overall. Having a great speed cube sitting on the shelves of thousands of stores all over the world for a very affordable price will go a long way in helping more people get into cubing. I can see plenty of people who have the original Rubik's Cube and are looking to take the next step, benefiting from a cube like the Rubik's Speed. So yeah, very good cube that I think will be really good for the speed cubing scene as a whole. You can pick up the cube at a store near you. Alright, see ya, have a good day.